Before getting started with um, doing some coding demos, I wanted to go over some PHP basics, how it works, and a few rules that are needed to know before you actually really do a lot of coding or even do much with it. So um, PHP is a server-side language, so it has to be run on a web server for the PHP code to process, unlike things like just plain old HTML or JavaScript where you can develop it just in a simple code um, editor and open it up in a browser locally and it'll just work. Um, so when you're developing, you can either set up a local web server, um, could refer to it as a local host, which allows for previewing locally, or you can just upload to a remote server and look at the page there. Okay, so I'll be demonstrating that in a different video. Now the files have to have a PHP extension so the um, processor knows how to process them. Um, cool thing about PHP is that it can simply be inserted into HTML and you put um, the PHP opening and closing tags and then whatever code you want inside of there. And in fact, you can have multiple sections of PHP open and close throughout your HTML, depending on where you want things to ha happen. So I just want to show you the kind of the um, difference between a regular HTML page and the extra step that's needed when you're dealing with PHP. So if you have your, your own client machine and you are requesting a web page from a server, a plain old HTML page um, requests the page from the server and it just returns the HTML. It doesn't really do anything to it, it just sends back what you're asking for. However, if you have a PHP page and it knows that because it has a PHP extension, you would send a request to the server and it would use the PHP preprocessor to then go into that page, look inside the PHP tag, and if it has any database access required, it would take care of that and get the data from the database, potentially MySQL, and it would um, strip out any PHP code and it would return HTML to the web server, which would then return it to you. So here is an example of the PHP script before and after processing. So on the server, let's say I made a very simple PHP page. Notice it looks just like HTML, but with this PHP section in here saying, hello world. But when it returns to me, if I look at the, the source of that page when it's returned to me, notice there are no PHP tags and hello world is simply in the body because that's where I had my, my PHP echo statement. So what's nice is that you can do code and um, the users can't just look at your um, logic and things. So here are a few basics to start with before we get going on making some pages and processing things. One thing that PHP requires is that you have to put a semicolon at the end of each statement. So notice we've got echo, hello world, and we have this semicolon here. There are times if you forget the semicolon on the very last line, sometimes it won't complain, but sometimes a semicolon will crash your whole page and it gets really frustrating. So make sure that you include them. When dealing with variables, PHP variables start with a dollar sign and a letter. So for instance, you can use numbers after the letter, but you can't just do a dollar sign and a number right away. Um, they need to be one word, so no spaces in your variable name. And they are case sensitive. So for instance, in this example, username, if I had one that says username and it's all caps, it would be an entirely different variable than this one where it's lowercase and then it goes to the uppercase N and the rest. You use an equal sign to assign a value. So what you're going to do is, just like any other coding language, you have your variable on the left and your value on the right, and it always goes in that direction. So you can't say Joe equals username, it won't work. You have to put the variable first, equals, and then your value. Now what's kind of cool about PHP is you don't have to declare a variable type. So in some languages it's very specific. You have to say if something's a string or an integer up front, and with PHP, you can just go ahead on the fly, go, hey, I've got a variable. I'm going to call it username. I'm putting Joe in it. 
A common statement um, would be using the echo command, and that prints whatever you put into the quotes into the HTML. And um, I'm not demonstrating that a ton here, but I did want to mention that you can also echo HTML tags. So, um, for instance, let me back up here a second. Notice that here it was um, echoing hello world and it puts it right into the HTML. If you wanted formatting to happen, you would include those HTML tags because those would simply be echoed here. And then it is processed on your machine just as HTML. And you put whatever you'd like to echo inside of either single or double quotes. Now, depending on what you use, uh, most of the time it won't matter, but in some cases it does. If you use double quotes and you put a variable inside, it will interpret it. So that makes it pretty easy to incorporate. So if I have a username and it's con it has Brad in that, and I say, hello, username, and it's in double quotes, it'll actually say, hello, Brad. However, if I use single quotes and I say, hello, username, it will say, hello, username. So I kind of see the, the double quotes as a nice little shortcut, but um, just something to be aware of. Another way to incorporate that if you wanted to use strings and um, variables next to each other is using concatenation. In some languages, they use the plus sign and such, but uh, PHP uses the period to concatenate or join strings together. So for instance, if I had a variable called username and I have Mike in there, and I'm echoing hello, notice I've got the dot, period, username, dot, how are you? it will take those three strings and concatenate them, put them together, and then it will um, echo back this um, full sentence. So concatenation is something you'll be using quite a lot in um, PHP. And one other thing I wanted to mention is um, it's a good idea to comment your code. Um, this is a very standard uh, way of commenting, um, but just wanted to mention that if you want to comment a single line, you would use two forward slashes. And if you wanted to do a block comment, which is an entire section, you would do a slash asterisk, type whatever you want, and an asterisk, asterisk slash to finish that. This could be really handy if you want to disable a section of your code and run it without deleting things. Um, I use comments to make notes about what things are doing when I edited code. Um, but a lot of times while I'm debugging, I'll use comments to disable sections of code while I'm um, testing things. So that is really just a few things that you should be aware of before doing some PHP, and um, I will have more videos showing um, things that you can do.